Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Fields this way up at the 17. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Jackson first play gonna throw. Oh, he's gonna air it out right away. And incomplete on the deep ball. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll go again with Dobbins. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had him diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. They did tell us they wanted to establish a ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. And now to the races down the right side. You win Touchdown. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. <laughs> Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Brits and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That one good for 37 yards. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw that downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did exactly that. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he will not make it back 
to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. To try again after the sack. Works. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. I certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quills Watkins, 31 yards. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Yeah, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for and having that kind of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. This one's be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense for the touchdown. And the last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And I don't think he got there, no. He should be maybe a foot, maybe call it fourth and inches. It's Edwards. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Hurts. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. On oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. 
Jalen Hurts scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now it's Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. From the 37, they work on second and six. Throwing is Jackson. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Brandbarrow. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. But that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. But first down, Hurts. Oh, this time for Smith, and it's intercepted. It's Chuck picking it off. And the Ravens are going to take Not possession it. of the football. Such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop the score. Edwards. We'll take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point. And we are tied at 14. <laughs> This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive, because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football, and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Touchdown, Eagles! 
Keaton Cole. Watkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Hey. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On third down, Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And that is incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And Jackson throwing once more. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. From the gun on third down, Jackson, middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Jackson on first down. That's for Beekman, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. Incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Second and ten. Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that will be incomplete.
incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Give them credit for excellent coverage. Tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Quez Watkins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead now up to 14. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is oh, my goodness. He pulled it in one handed. Oh, and my he's goodness. In for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they, the they come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know their perfections in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. That's the NFL vet Calais Campbell coming in and dragging him down. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Back 
to throw. Tried for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run up the gap with Evans. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try to fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right there that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now it's Jackson. And he is out of bounds here. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Second down and goal. Jackson, that is caught. It's Bateman through Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are an extra point away from drawing level. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, X point away from tying things up. That's exactly how they drew it up on the board. It's all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We got a brand new ball game, all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 in the first. They'll set up a throw. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Another run with Sanders. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Boy, 
this tackle is continuing to play this defense, and they surrender another big play and a touchdown here. Yeah, but my count, at least two guys had shots at it, maybe even more than that. But this defense, they looked out of sorts all game long. That was definitely not one of their better efforts right there. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. set at the line for this next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See the, and this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Play fake. Here's Jackson. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Jackson now. And pressure coming and they got him once again. And after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll look to throw. And pressure gets to him again. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. That is caught. We're shot. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays. They're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield. But make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And down he goes. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Smith, 30 yards. And the Eagles have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. And that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you. That can win the game for us. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he's got some space here. Shoves him aside. There he goes, right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Gus Edwards, 84 yards. And the Ravens.
Bulls have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. 57 yards on the ground for him so far. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We'll likely put an end to this thing. Another run here with Sanders. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Oh, come on. And they turn it over. Right. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Here's Jackson. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. A really nice knockdown. He has so much pressure in these situations on defensive backs. What are they talk? Play the ball, not the man. Because if you have a pass interference penalty in this spot, boy, oh boy, you put your team in a bad place. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jackson. Looking sideline, incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Jackson. It's Robinson, and they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Jackson to throw, and this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He put that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Throwing, Jackson. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. 
Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Now it looks like he'll throw oh. here. Flush coming, and he's taken down. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. Charles, normally when you see a good score this many points, it's a complete blowout, but instead they needed every single.